Morning everybody, uh, Gary Porter again. I'm going to show you the scope reading here. I just ran the uh, 24 volt on 12 volt DC, 24 volt motor, into the pump and I'm getting a beautiful sine wave and it's uh, since it's on 12 volts I've got 35 Hertz 228 volts coming out and uh, Okay, down here, I've got. Let's see if I get this camera set up again. I've got my cores done, and sorry about all the jumping around here, but I want to show you this. I want to. I'm trying to keep you step by step what I'm doing, and uh, so what I've got is the cores are now uh, varnished together in sections and uh, these are apart I'd have to this is going to be it's got a hole in it so this is going to be for spinning the the coil on it and I've also got some paper wad in here with a piece of the one end of the piece of is loose so I can extract the the mold from the coil and that fits right over this area so the coil will be out in this area and uh, this over here is, uh, is the motor set up it's 24 volt DC motor and uh, the coupling came out pretty good. I used some goop and a piece of heat shrink tubing uh, to get the, the coupling to go good. And uh, sorry about this camera. This thing is really screwed up today. But anyway, you can see, let me start this thing up and you can see it running and uh, listen to it a little bit. So that's, that's running at uh, half of its power that's uh, 12 volts pretty smooth pretty quiet and uh, so that's uh, producing the 35 Hertz and I made up a, a, a frame here for the two batteries so I can carry this thing around with me and uh, these are the two initial pole transformers right here and I finally got the leaks fixed but I'm noticing as it gets hotter out, it expands the oil, and the oil works its way up through the top of the thing, and uh, which is kind of which means it's full. That's good. And I haven't lost too much oil. These are the high voltage output portion, and they're about oh, 6.8 millihenries on this this one, which is a 22 gauge. This is going to be the first one I'll drive, and then its output drives this one on the high voltage side, and this one here is a 24 gauge. Each are 400 turns. Uh, the copper is two and a half turns, two inches uh, wide. Pretty thin stuff. It's uh, easily bent. And uh, I noticed in the videos for uh, <clears throat> the uh, when they had how it's made on uh, making a pole transformer, they show eighth inch aluminum plate being bent and. Uh, if you worked with the eighth inch aluminum plate, I kind of doubt that that was eighth inch aluminum. Maybe sixteenth would bend like that, but uh, to, to get it to bend at those right angles, they'd have to have, have a lot, a lot different machine to bend eighth inch aluminum, unless I'm crazy. But uh, so this is where we are. Here's the second core, and uh, it's got the same same deal. Only one's going to be uh, this different sizes, different shapes. I'm doing this whole thing so I can t easily just take these things apart and uh, change change the change the change change what's going on with the coils and the plate. I'm going to use copper and aluminum, uh, different layers, different thicknesses and uh, same thing with the wire gauge and different turns. Uh, these are only the two and a half turned copper so it's not much copper. But I want to get a relationship between the copper and uh, the amount of the amount of metal versus radiation, and find out what's going on for real here, so I can actually design my own uh, house transformer. And uh, we we get it. And I'm getting closer. I love the way this motor runs. It's smooth, no vibration in the board at all. It's just as smooth as can be. The heat shrink tubing with the goop in the middle. I squirted that in there, and I uh, got a one plastic thing from the hardware store to made up to the other side so 
that's working good. And uh, 220 at 12 volts, I'm not sure what it's going to do at 24 volts yet. I need to do that test also. But uh, as you can see, the sine wave is sine wave's looking good. Looks like a nice clean sine wave. No spikes or squares or nothing. But that's no load on it. All right. Have fun.